Okay, so what I've done before we get started is I have created two versions of the Fibonacci um, problem, generating the problem, the sequence. I've got them, if you're following from previous lessons then, I've got them out of sequences, I've just cut and pasted them. I've put them into a, their, their own file. That's just to make the output a little bit cleaner, um, otherwise it you see lots of imports and data you don't want to see. And then what I've done is I've run them both on the same value. So I've looked what's the 35th Fibonacci number and when I do it recursively and what's the 35th Fibonacci when I've done this um, iteratively with a loop. Now, and I'm showing you this to show you the performance function in uh, the profile function in Python. So I've got test speed selected here in PyCharm. So I've selected test speed and now I'm going to click this one here and it's going to give me a kind of, it's going to say start C profile profiler and I'm going to have to wait because um, I've called a large-ish number, now it's finished. Um, and what you can see here is the, so this is the time that it took to run. So this is the recursive function, uh, which when I double click on it goes to it, and this is the iterative function. Now, so what this profiler does is it will let you identify functions that are taking up a lot of processing time. So here, you'll see that 100% of, um, of the processing time was taken up by Fibonacci, whereas 0% or very close to 0% was taken up by Fibonacci iterative. And actually what's really noticeable is when we put that on the call graph. So here, the Fibonacci iterative, that was called once in the program, whereas this one here was called What's that, 28 million times? Now, and I'll talk you through why that's the case. So if you look at the code here, although this code's much simpler, when I run it once, it has to run itself for the two values that are smaller than it. So it calculates, so in order to calculate Fibonacci of 39, it then calculates Fibonacci of 33 and Fibonacci of 34. But in order to calculate each of those two, for Fibonacci of 33, it's got to calculate Fibonacci of 31 and 32 and for 34 it needs to calculate 32 and 33 and so each time it gets called it then doubles the number of time it's called and so for something like 30 calling Fibonacci 35 I would suppose that if let's have a look at that number there 2 million I would imagine if I just look at the Python console and um, pop this in what's 35 to the power 2 Sorry, what's two? So well, what's two times two times two times two times two? Thirty-five, and I'd imagine it'll be about in that. Yeah, okay. So you know, it's pretty close to that value that that was churned out at. And so what this is showing us is that one function is incredibly inefficient compared to this function, this function here. And so that's what the this button here does on the. Um, on the run bar that will tell you the speed and the number of times that functions were called in your program and it allows you to look into a larger program and say look that pro that particular process there is really inefficient and I need to work on it so hopefully that's helpful